Paul Bankin. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. Uh, I mean, I've heard of calling your attorney uh -huh. and having billable <laughs> hours, but the limo service? That's right, Jen. I have been looking at all this, this all day today, and this is a real consumer warning. You need to make sure you understand your contracts before you hire any company. Nancy Jennings wanted her wedding party to arrive in style, so she rented a limousine through Barnes Worldwide, affiliated with Barnes Professional Limousine Service, LLC of Pennsylvania, shown here on their website. When her credit card was charged hundreds more than she expected, she called and emailed the company representative to ask why. And he said it was in the contract. He was right, right away. Sure enough, the contract included a fee structure that Nancy hadn't noticed, so she paid. Then last week, three months after her wedding, she received another credit card charge, $500 for administrative fees. What'd you think? I was livid, livid. Yeah. <laughs> I was so angry. Her receipt refers to the contract. Quote, if the purchaser charges back, disputes, or inquires about any charge applied by the company to their credit or debit card, purchaser authorizes a charge of $500 per transaction to be charged to their credit debit card to cover fees, penalties, and or administrative costs applied to or bared by the company. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I work with vendors um, all day long, and I've never seen a clause like this in my life. She's not the only one to complain online on Yelp. Many cite the $500 charge. I called the company's representative, Matt Barnes, who explained the fees are for the time it takes to respond to inquiries. I mean, I wish I made $500 per email. He pointed out that he was giving me his time for free. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that you don't have my credit card right now because I guess I would get charged $500 for asking you a simple question. Meanwhile, Nancy tells me she came forward to warn other consumers to read their contracts. I'm, I'm okay with paying, you know, paying the 500, but I just don't want another innocent person paying $500 for money that they may not even have. Matt Barnes followed up with an email pointing out that customers agree to terms and conditions in the written contract, and he noted that the company has been in business since 1999, and he asked that I tell all of you that these fees allow the company to donate to schools, such as the $13,955 the company recently gave to a Catholic school in Pennsylvania. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much did she spend on the limo services, and is she trying to get any of that money back? I mean, don't even get me started on hoping that you don't get sent a bill for 500 bucks. Yeah, I, I was guarding my credit card. I bet. <laughs> she tells me that she spent about nearly $1,500 wow. on this limousine service, and it was just a little over an hour's service. She tells me that she's not even really worried about getting the money back because when she looks at the contract, it is pretty clean, you know, pretty uh, clear that she's going to get charged. But she just wants to warn everybody to make sure that you read your contracts because this could happen to you. With with any business. Get out your magnifying glass, mm -hmm. your monocle, whatever you have to do to like Absolutely. look at the fine print. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. That number is 1-855-BANKIN.